All right, so today I want to talk a little bit about Wonderfill. Up until just recently, I thought that Wonderfill was nothing more than a tongue filler, which it is, but it is so many other things as well. It's a dough, it's a water soluble dough, and it's non staining, and it sticks to just about every impression material out there. I haven't encountered one that doesn't. The material is a doughy, has a doughy consistency, as you can see. It also comes contained in a bucket with a bag. Make sure you always keep this closed. You don't want it to dry out. You'll notice how nice and formable it is. In its initial, um, in its initial um, uh, application, uh, it's considered to be a tongue filler. Tongue fillers are important on lower models because, of course, we want to fill that area in. Uh, why waste a bunch of time using a sheet of boxing wax and hoping that you'll get some adherence of the wax to the impression material when you can just reach into this tub of Wonderfill and take and place it right into the tongue area and you'll notice. I can, I can plug it right in and I can form it and I can capture the borders I want and at the same time fill that area in and once I have it all filled and formed I can take and pour an impression up and it will not fill the tongue area. The tongue area will be totally blocked out. Um, you can also use a little water. Um, I could turn a little water here on just for a second. And basically, um, because it's water soluble, you can smooth it to just about any contour that you want. And again, the nice thing is that it takes just seconds really to get it formed. And you'll see it's. Uh, fills very nicely. Now you'll pour your impression and then once it's hardened you'll be able to pull the material straight off and if there is any stone sticking on the material just pick that off clean it up and then boom stick it stick it back in here and use it for your next application. Again um, if you do get any of the Wonder Fill material sticking on the models uh, it's water soluble you can just rinse it right off. It doesn't stain your models um, fast to use and uh, uh, I've had this one for eight months and I'm still using it and just putting the material back into the bucket and closing it up and, and going on from there. Um, what really makes this product though sing is a secondary uh, product that uh, Dental Creations offers that works in conjunction with the Wonderfill and I want to show you that, uh, that, that secondary um, uh, part and that would be the Wonder Form. And your wonder form is a metal former that's used to encapsulate or to contain the wonderful material around your impression. And All right, so let's talk a little bit about the wonder former. This is the second part of the system that really makes it all come together. Um, it has a couple of features I like to mention. First, of course, is this notch. This notch is placed in here for the tray handles that may stick off the front of your uh, custom tray. Um, I tend to cut the tray handle off and I don't have to worry about it but if you're one of those who want to leave it on um, you can notice, you'll notice that it just fits real nicely through the notch so when you have this laid out and you have your impression placed inside the former um, you don't have to be so concerned about the tray handle uh, preventing a, a fair amount of space. The, the uh, former also has a latching mechanism on the back, which is very nice, well constructed. It's welded right to the uh, former itself. Um, the closed and latched position generally accommodates most standard size impressions. If you have a larger impression, you can always unlatch it by one not by one notch. Just leave it open, basically, rather than close, and that will buy you about a half inch on either side. If you get extremely large or wide, wide arch forms, you can also unlatch it entirely and let it rest like that. You can see the amount of space that you gain. It just means you'll have to use a larger patty of Wonderfill material in order to compensate for the op you know how far open it is. But in the long run, um, this is this is the best way to accommodate the larger arches. Um, couple of little things that I couple along with the former to make it a much easier system to use uh, are uh, a piece of plexiglass and um, a, a handle with a flat end. The plexiglass is about five inches by five inches 
and it accommodates the patty that you'll be creating with the Wonder Fill in order to use the Wonder Former to to cut a cookie type cookie cutter type form around the patty. Um, I place some feet on the bottom of the uh, of the uh, plexiglass in order to facilitate picking it up off the counter. If it was flat, be a harder time pulling it up off the counter. But with these four little feet on there. Um, I'm readily able to pick it right up. And of course, the form will be right on top of it. Uh, Alright, so let's look at the procedure here for using Wonder Fill and Wonder Former together to create uh, what I call the Wonder Box system. Um, literally, we take our first our uh, sheet of 5x5 five five plexiglass or styrene, whatever you want to use, with the feet on it and we mold ourselves a patty of Wonderfill that we're going to place on that on that plexiglass. Generally, I, I take the former and place it over the patty to make sure that it basically encompasses the size of the former, which it does. I place it on here like this, and then I take my impression, which I have already marked the depth of the sulcus on the impression so I know exactly how deep I want to press this into the Wonderfill material. And I've also cut off the handle just as it, so it doesn't get in the way and so I can press the, the, uh, the impression tray down into the Wonderfill adequately. So I'll take that and I'll take and press that into the material. You'll notice that it um, kind of pushes away. That's okay, it's not a problem. And What I do is I take my finger and just just push the Wonderfill material up around and to that line that I drew on the impression which indicates the depth of sulcus that I want. Okay, Once I get it surrounded, as I do here, I'll grab my Wonder Former and I'll place it on top. Try to center it so that I have an adequate amount of Wonderfill material all the way around which is going to basically create a land area for the impression when it's boxed. And then once I get it in place I press it down. I'll take my finger and I'll go around and pull the Wonderfill material off like this. And if I was to show you down in the center you would see that the Wonderfill material has pulled a little bit away from the impression. It's okay, don't panic. Um, it just uh, want, we want to make sure that we have the bottom of the uh, former filled so that we can now take the excess material that we pulled from around the edges and we'll take it and roll it into little sausages and what I basically do is I take and I roll it out and place it around the periphery very quickly. Again, I'm doing this for example sake. If I didn't have to stand around a camera, I could show you that it happens quite quickly. But basically just take the material and I'll take and press it all the way around. And what we're doing is we're building our land area around the outside of the impression. Okay. Once I get most of it in place, I'll then grab myself a little tool. Um, that tool can be the handle of a denture brush, like this. It's kind of narrow and it's kind of rounded on the end. It could be the end of a spatula. It's flat there. Something to tamp the material down. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the handle and I'm going to tamp my material down to that line that I drew on the impression. Okay, so let me just push that down really quickly just to show you. And again, I'm just working it around the perimeter to give myself, I'll see if I can't hold it on edge and do it, so just to show you, but literally I'm just taking, pushing the material down. The material will push down to the bottom a bit, but what I'm doing is I'm clearing that area, land area, around that line that I drew to capture the sulcus, the width of the sulcus create a land area and take the place of all that crazy waxing that we used to do to do the same kind of boxing and you know the drawback with that has always been at least in my was was uh, in my uh, estimation was always the how well does the wax stick to certain impression materials you could never do this with an alginate impression with wax but you could do it with wonderfill you could actually box 
an alginate impression if you want it, or a irreversible hydrocolloid impression, or PVS impression, lots of different, all the different materials you could use in that regard. Anyways, what I'm doing is, as you can probably see, I'm tamping it down. I have a void here, and so I'm going to grab for a little bit more material, and I'm just going to take and press it into place to fill that area. And again, what I'm doing is, I'm going just subsurface of the impression, rather than uh, being above it, you know, negatives equal positives, positives equal negatives in impressions. So the same thing would happen with the land areas. You have to make sure that we um, don't create positives in the impression, or negatives, I should say. Anyway, and you can see what I've done is, and I'll just for sake of being neat, housekeeping, I'm tamping it around the hamular area and making sure that the material is below the hamular impression so that I have a bit of a land area that will hook around that hamular notch. Well, there it is. I'm complete. I don't know if you've been looking at your watch, but I would imagine that I'm under five minutes with this. And then, of course, the next step would be to fill the impression with your stone of choice and vibrate it and I'll show you that here in just a second why I have that why I have that um, plexiglass base okay there it is it's boxed and ready to be poured and you can see I have the land area it's it's uh, even with the line that I drew all the way around the impression in the hamular, hamular region I'm below the, the hamular area so that I can pick up that entire notch. Nothing's distorted. And again, we'll pour this up. I'll take and pour, pour this stone into this, and then I'll take this whole, this whole piece of plexiglass and I'll vibrate my stone in. And then once it's set up, I'll take and undo this latch, open it up, take out my impression that, should, that now has been poured and the stone is hardened. And I will pull off and clean off the uh, Wonderfill material. There'll be a little bit of stone and some of the some pieces of little stone in the Wonderfill. Just pick it off and throw it in the garbage. That's basically where the consumability of the product is, is just in cleaning it up in between each usage. This is a single single arch application, but you could literally do this with as many as you wanted. And uh, as I show in my lectures, uh, the math on this is really works well for the labs because this technique for boxing would take generally about 20 minutes if you were to wax in a uh, wax in a, a, a land areas and wax in a tongue and then take your boxing wax and then you have to box the entire thing with a form and this just really uh, is quick quick and painless and very cost effective and uh, as I mentioned uh, uh, to people uh, I'm actually boxing non-border mold impressions just because of the ease and because of the how nice it all looks when it's all um, uh, box poured and uh, trimmed. I mean it just looks like, uh, really phenomenal. So anyways this is the Wonderfill Wonderform system and again if you're buying the Wonderfill and you don't have the Wonderform you're really um, you're really blowing it because with that Wonderform it totally takes which is just basically a tongue filler and turns it into a boxing system and that boxing system will save you so much time you'll literally be able to save 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes depending on how how good you are at boxing impressions um, you can save that amount of time to box them and you get the same great result so anyways just wanted to show you that uh, today uh, this goes along with my article uh, in the dental lab products magazine uh, talking about how we create higher values in our laboratory and how we can uh, show cost savings at the same time make a better product and uh, you know if you start boxing all of your impressions uh, that come into the laboratory um, it just gives you that image that you're very finished that you uh, have a very quality end product